what is up you guys today's the day we are going to be going over the trailer i'm going to be showing you all the options on this thing showing you what it's capable of um, it's got quite a few different options so stick around um, also stick around towards the end of the video i will be uh, revealing the price um, on a trailer like this showing you what uh, showing you what something like this costs so enjoy Let's get started. Uh, first off is the extensions on this trailer. This trailer has 14 foot of extensions. Uh, that way we don't have to pull a long trailer around all the time when we don't need to. Uh, this, this trailer is actually considered a 24 foot trailer that extends out to 38 feet. So. First extension is actually the tongue, so the tongue extends out eight feet. That is the tongue extended all the way out to eight foot. And the next extension is the tail. This tail extends out six feet. That is the tail all the way extended. Um, I need to actually take a wire brush and get that rust off there and put some more dry graphite on there. That's what I use for the luber lubrication on these extensions. It's cleaner and yeah, once it dries it's slippery and it's better than getting grease or oil all over you. Alright, so let's say I want to load a 40 foot load of buildings. Uh, let's say I got an 8x12 and a 12x28. Um, the way I would usually do this is put the 8x12 up front and have the bigger one on the back. Um, so as you see, this this would be a problem here. You got this big gap. It's probably about a 9.5 foot gap here. So I need to get my 8 uh, 12 foot building as far up as I can. So, what we can do is this front actually extends out four foot too, giving us another four foot of deck. It doesn't make the trailer any longer, but it gives us more deck space. So, I'll show you how that works. So now you can see uh, we've closed this gap from this bar. Um, the way this would work is the 8x12 would actually sit pretty much mostly on this extension and the front would be sitting on this bolster bar. So the 8x12 would come out to somewhere here and what we can actually do this here, we can move this, we can slide that back to here, that way we can strap the back corner of the building. seen the tail extended out um, the tail is also capable of shifting side to side so that helps if we're backing up to a building and don't quite get lined up good enough uh, we can just shift the tail over and <clears throat> 
whichever way we need to go and then get it lined up and yeah that just saves a lot of time all right the next thing is this push pull chain um pretty self-explanatory so once we get the building like a small building started on the trailer up to here we can actually flip flip that one up and underneath the building and pull it on up the deck and then obviously when you're wanting to push a building off you can just flip the other one up just like that push it off the trailer and I don't know if you can really tell but the chain is actually off-centered and the reason they have it off-centered is some manufacturers some builders have a center skid that would hit you know right in here somewhere all right so moving down underneath the trailer we have a four-wheel drive sideways sideways wheels system um if you've watched any of my videos then you've definitely seen all this all this stuff work but these are just an absolute lifesaver. I mean, getting in and around some tight corners or whatever just saves a ton of time and just makes it makes it go a lot easier. Uh, delivering sheds, we get in into a lot of tight areas, down some tight alleys, and that is an option that I just wouldn't go without, especially with where I deliver. Um, I do quite a bit of work in West Virginia and northeast Ohio so that I wouldn't go without yeah let's show you how that works real quick option is the leveling axles <clears throat> uh, this is not an option that I had on my old trailer but I got it added to this trailer I use these all the time when I ordered these I was thinking I would probably just use them mostly for unloading on a slope on a side slope or something and use them to level out the trailer deck but I use these in all kinds of situations um, such as dropping both the front I can drop both just the front axle down and actually pick the rear axle up off the ground that allows me to make uh, turns a lot easier if I need to make a sharp turn keeps the rear tires from dragging so much or I can raise the whole deck up and I've used that before to put a building up on a platform or something that I needed to raise the deck up higher and I've even used it to actually walk over stuff such as let's say we got a gravel pad or something they got it bordered with railroad ties or something I can actually pick this front axle up that'll raise this uh, rear axle and I can back the trailer up, get the rear axle past the railroad tie, drop the rear axle, and then bring the the front axle across. So it's pretty neat what uh, what all you can use use those axles for.
closer look down here, that's basically just a cylinder. Pushes that down and then it actually pivots down here in the center. I don't know if you can see that or not, but basically it just comes here and it splits. Yep. Uh, the trailer has a 13 horse Honda on it. That's what that's what powers it and then it also has a backup motor it's an electric motor and show you how that it works but it's just a lot slower but it's, it's nice if you need it in a pinch or something um the trailer the way that electric motor is powered is the battery right there and that battery gets charged from the truck it has battery cables coming uh, from the truck truck battery and those cables just run through the tongue all the way around They come through this tongue and then brings this trailer extends it's on this little cable carrier and that just basically folds around this is the jack hydraulic jack that's what we use to unhook the trailer my old trailer had a, one of those hand cranks that you put in there, but this trailer's quite a bit heavier, so I, I went with the hydraulic jack. I'm sure a lot of you are wondering how much something like this costs. I had a few people comment on there on the uh, couple of the videos, but this trailer, I bought this in 2022 and I paid 80000 for this trailer. It's a lot of money for a trailer, but it's not an ordinary trailer, obviously. So yeah, there it is. Well guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.